Hello, this is Martin from Star Design Retouching Panel. And today tutorial is the next guiding of this panel. It's section 2, Auto Retouch, tab A. I'll show you guys how to do this photo right now. Let's get started. This photo is taken with Southeast Asia classic style. When we take a look closer, we can see her skin doesn't have much defects. And the same with the guy's skin. Therefore, we don't have to take out severe plamacy first. In case it does, make sure you use any healing tools like spot healing brush tool, healing brush tool, or patch tools to remove the plamacy first. Then we can run the action after that. Now, to the smooth skin action. You can easily find the action on the side design retouching panel, auto retouch. Tap A and done. That's it. No more action are needed. The action isolates the mask and fix the skin for you. You just sit comfortably and enjoy the result. Just take a closer look to the skin. All minor defects are all gone. The textures still remain. However, in some cases, the action doesn't take the mask precisely. The couple's clothes blur, so you can take all the details back with the brush by pressing B on the keyboard or brush icon on the left in the tools tab or on the right in the panel. Make sure the foreground color is black and paint over the areas where you want to bring the detail back, such as clothes, veils, hair, eyes, lips, etc. And just that. It's super quick and convenient, right? It saves my time so, so much when I have to work with tons of photos on a daily basis. Moving on to the next action. Usually, when you want to modify the face shape of model, you tend to use liquefied feature, right? Duplicate the background by pressing the shortcut control J. Convert the layer into the match object by right click to the layer and choose convert to smart object so that you can modify it later. Go to filter and liquefy or the shortcut of it which is control shift X. Another box appear rolling down to the face shape and modify the jawline and face width by decreasing or increasing the number. Click OK and now you see her jaw looks smaller, right? As you can see, you have to understand and remember all the upper step just for modify her face shape. We do know your struggle. That's why the action slim face is it. Let's delete this layer so we can back to the original image. Choose slim face action. Make sure to check on the enable slim face box. Please note that the action based on the face detection of liquefied feature. It means face detection doesn't work for side faces. That's the reason why his face cannot detect except bright face. There are three options when it comes to modify the face look slim and slender. Less, normal, and more. You can choose the option as you want. I'm trying with normal. Before and after. It's easy, right? Don't need to remember steps by step anymore. Oh, wait. How about a photo with a curve of people? Can this action work for multiple faces as well? Here, I have another photo so we can test it out. This is a curve of bridesmaids and the bride on her wedding. Choose the action and look whether we can make their faces look slimmer at a time or not. Since five ladies here show their faces directly to the camera, all faces are detected. Make sure to check on the box of faces number that you want to make it slimmer. I'm going to adjust Bride's face a little bit. Both bridesmaids, number 2 and 3, next to her with normal option. 
The fifth bridesmaid on the left hand side will go with less option and I'm not going to touch any on the last one. And boom! All the faces have been adjusted in a second. How amazing is that? The action runs so smoothly and their faces has been pinched accordingly as you can see. More importantly, we do have a combination of smooth skin and slim face actions into one, which is smooth plus slim action. It can help you out even more. Back to the original of this image. Run the smooth slim action and choose the option you want to adjust the face shape. And done. The action separates both layers for you to check and modify after that. Just fix the left spot that's still on the skin with pack tools. And the photo looks amazing. Another question is that if I have lots of photo I want to smooth skin at one time, does the panel can deal with it? <laughs> it's a yes, absolutely yes. Here is the bold skin action, which helps you to fix all the photos with just a click. Here I have a folder name unretouched with 30 photos. The model skin looks great, but not perfect. She has freckles and some minor moles. Now back to Photoshop. Run the bold skin action, the box pops up, and you just need to select the source folder where your photo are located. For output folder, I create a new folder next to the short folders so that I can find it quickly later. No matter your photos are in JPEG, PNG, PSD, or RAW, etc. All types are supported. More options for you to select just in case you need it. When we are done with all the settings, click OK and wait for the action process. After the processing is completed, the output folder pops up, so we can check immediately. Here we are, all the photos have been edited and you can upload to Facebook, Instagram right away. No further action are needed. I love the action so so much, it's really handy. Anyway, if you see this panel is useful, and want to give it a try, we do offer 30 days of free trial so that you can test all the functions to know how convenient, helpful of this plugin can bring to you. For further information, contact us at Facebook, website, worldwideweb.sodesignretouching.com or leave a comment below of this tutorial. We will get back to you immediately. Back to the tutorial. Remove freckles action. I have another beautiful girl photo. She has lots of freckles on her skin, as you can see. And again, run the action and choose brush by B shortcut. Choose the flow as you see fit. Make sure white color in foreground by pressing X to switch black to white and paint over her skin. In case you accidentally pan over the edge just like this, reverse it by changing black color in foreground 
and paint again over these areas. The freckles fade away immediately. What a cool action. Reduce the opacity or fill if you think the skin is too much blur or something. Next, I'm going to introduce you an action called Skin Scholar Scales, which is changing skin scholar tone so that cooler or warmer. I'll show you how to do that now. Run the action. The box with three options appears. First, when you move the icon triangle to a red color sign, it will add magenta to the image. By contrast, green will be added on the right hand side. Two options left, increasing or decreasing saturation or brightness or photo, depend on what you want to create a new look. After finishing your selection, you can use brush with black foreground to paint over the areas you want the original color back. In this case, I don't want a bit red color cast on the background, so I paint to take the green color back. With skin texture action, you can add or subtract grain depth and roughness to the image if you want. Trench option is for how much grain depth texture roughness you want to apply. Finally, over adjustment stands for how strong of all the effects above you want to add. When you want to brighten skin, normally duplicate the background. Right click on the adjustment layer, choose brightness, contrast, and increase the brightness. With just one click to brighten skin action, all mention steps above are done. You just only adjust the opacity that you see the skin brighten enough. The last action is even skin tone. It helps you to analyze the whole colors of the photos and balance it. You can use this action in case the skin of model is the same. For all the image, like some areas are dark or cast another color on the skin. After using the action, you can press the places where you want the original color. Well, that's all for this section 2, Auto Retouch, Tab 8. Feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the bell in case you want to see more our tutorial in the future. Thank you and see ya!